state law says that homeschool students can participate in extracurricular activities. Um, but they have to set out a year, meaning they have to be homeschooled for one year before they can actually participate. And they also have to have uh, adequate progress, have to make adequate progress on an annual yearly assessment. They have to take one virtual class per semester, or they can come into the school and take one class at the school. But they could also re-enroll and still stay home with our virtual option. As you know, they can take a full schedule of courses through West Virginia Virtual. At again, at no cost to them, the can our county would pay uh, for each class that they take. Of course, they're going to have to take the four core subjects of math, ELA, science, and social studies, and they can also take some electives as, as well. So uh, you know, it's really if for students who are being homeschooled, uh, it's a big saving for parents if they decided to re-enroll them in our virtual program. You can just do the online learning, still stay at home, and still you can incorporate as a parent any other curriculum that you wanted to uh, teach your child from home. And, uh, but you would still be, you know, building a, tra a transcript, uh, in particularly in high school for credits toward graduation if you're uh, enrolled as a full-time student, but virtually. For students who enroll in virtual, the virtual option through Lincoln County, they have a device that we provide. Typically, we go with laptops for that, so you have a keyboard for all the writing that's involved. Um, the family must have internet sufficient internet connection at home to be able to do the virtual coursework and virtual facilitator teachers oversee the progress of the student and make sure that they're on track um, to complete all the coursework and that they're progressing. There is a contract with West Virginia Virtual School where they have an online teacher who is uh, the creator of the content and actually instructs the student. And we have a Lincoln County virtual facilitator that oversees their progress. So they communicate with the parent and the student about timelines and progress. And if they see that they're struggling, uh, maybe offer some suggestions on ways that they can work with their online teacher to make that better. It's just another um, local teacher that oversees their progress and knows the community and is familiar with our culture and our students and they act as a liaison with the um, virtual teacher as well. The virtual pre-registration period is open now. This allows uh, students to register for the virtual option. The cutoff is August 12th at four o'clock. So those online forms must be submitted by that time. That form gives us information to contact the family and then we schedule a face-to-face -face meeting with a parent or guardian and the child to come in and make sure that we have all the agreements and paperwork and to give them the device and just answer any questions they may have.